Hey guys, this is Stu. Welcome to another one of my videos, and today we will be looking at the storage on the Tesla Model 3 Long Range. And of course, with all of my storage videos, that includes the trusty 500ml bottles of water test, the trusty holiday luggage, and making a one off appearance this week, the two piece ladder. So let's get on with it. And first of all, we're going to look at the center console in the vehicle. Of course, we can't miss the two cup holders and they fit the 500 mil bottles perfectly. And right next door to that, we've got the large under storage compartment underneath the wireless chargers, which as you can see here, fits four bottles of water comfortably and a token can of Pepsi. And moving to the end of the centre of the console, underneath the armrest, we have more storage on tap here. And we're going to fill that with more bottles of water. How many will we get in there this time? Four, five and six. And probably space for maybe another bottle on the top. And still be able to close the arm. And staying in the front of the car, let's head over to the glove box. So we're going to open that from the screen. And we've got one in there, two three, four, easily four in there. So we've demonstrated the storage in the center console. Let's move over to the door bins, which is another trusty place to put that cup of coffee or can of soft drink. And as you can see here, and we can fit two bottles very, very comfortably. That's the front door bins. Let's try the rear ones. And if anyone's got any kids, perhaps always say there's never anywhere to put their drink. Hopefully we can put that to bed with this one. Anyway, let's move on to the back of the driver and passenger chair. And we've obviously got the storage pouch there and we can squeeze one there too. And no good rear back seat is complete without the drink storage in the armrest. And while we're at the back of the car, let's head to the boot. Now obviously I'm not going to fill this giant boot with 500ml bottles because we would be there all day long. But as you can see we've got storage underneath the floor and also in the side by the wheel well. And we can get four bottles just in there alone. The other side has a subwoofer so we can't get any in that one. But if you had the standard range plus there would be storage on that side as well. And of course, this is a Tesla, so it's going to have a good front boot. So let's go and have a dig around there. Of course, we've got all the charging cables. So let's get them all out and have a good look with the bottles in there. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. Now, I'm not going to fill this one up as well, but I'm just going to stand a few up just so you get a good idea of the height of, the, of this storage compartment. And I nearly forgot. Let's get those back seats down and see what space we've got with those flat and as you can see there's more or less a flat floor slightly inclined where the rear seat is but let's get the trusty two-piece ladder in there and see what space we've got to work with and as you can see we're pushing it all the way through and it's easily clearing the boot lip there you could say that fits perfectly So let's get that ladder out of the boot, back to the boot of the car. We're going to have a little look at what we've got here. So we've got the underfloor storage, we've also got the side storage there, and that combined with the rest of the boot gives us a real generous amount of space to work with. Now that takes us on to the holiday luggage, so let's get those bags out, let's show you what we've got and where we can fit it. So we've got the cabin bag, which is your standard cabin bag for your flight, and that fits perfectly in the bottom of the underfloor storage. Will we get the holdall in there as well? Probably a bit of a squeeze to get that in, and also the lid on top. And now on to the big boys. We've got three large 23 kilo style size suitcases, and we're gonna start by sliding this one all the way to the back. And that's going to leave us with the space in the floor. Now this would be taken up by the cabin bag. So let's move on to the second case. That would, This one would go into the top of the floor pan, resting on top of the cabin bag. And we're going to slot that in so it's flat in the floor. And we're just going to make sure that those wheels are off the ground so it gives us as much space as possible. Oh, doesn't that look good? Right, last case, third and final one. Let's squeeze you in as well. So let's slide this one in. This is going to go straight on top of the one we've just put into the car. But this is going to go slightly further back. 
Now be careful because underneath the unremovable parcel shelf and the back of the window, there is a bit of a tight squeeze there. So just be careful as you're pushing that case forward. And then once we're happy with that position, we can close the lid and there we go. And if the boot lid doesn't quite close, we're just gonna give it a little bit of extra help just to make sure it closes tight and secure. And there we have it. That demonstrates just how much of a storage king this Tesla Model 3 is. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you're a Tesla owner, how have you got on with your storage? And I'd love to know what the largest thing you've managed to fit in your car is. Anyway, thanks for tuning into the video. If you enjoyed it, a like and a sub would be wonderful. Thanks for supporting the channel and I'll see you again in the next one.